Hi, I'm Miss Katie from Elmhurst Public Library, and welcome to Alphabet Soup. Each week, we serve up a tasty variety of rhymes, songs, and cool things to do to boost literacy and language skills. Now, let's dig in. Hi, I'm Miss Allison, and today we're going to talk about being outside. Now, our first activity is about birds. I want you to take your hand and make a nest. Do you have your nest? Now take your two fingers and put them in your nest. This is your birdie. Is your birdie big or small? Fly away, little birdie, way up in the sky. Come and tell me, dear birdie, who taught you to fly? Now take your nest and bring it to your ear to listen to what your birdie says. My birdie told me that it's mommy taught it to fly. Let's sing that. It's mommy taught it to fly. All right, get your nest out again. So whatever bird you had before, if make it the different one this time. So if you had a little bird before, now you have a big bird. If you have a big bird before, now you have a little bird. Ready? Fly away, little birdie, way up in the sky. Come and tell me, dear birdie, who taught you to fly? Let's listen. What did your birdie say? Mine told me its brother. Its brother taught it to fly. Now today, when you go outside on your walk or when you're playing at the park, I want you to look out for any birds that you see flying in the air. So one thing I like to do when I'm outside is do different big motions while I'm out there. So I want everyone to go walking. You cannot see me walking, but we're gonna go walking. Ready? Walking, 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 walking in the green grass, green grass, green grass, walking in the green grass so early in the morning. Did you do it? This time I want you to go jumping, jumping, jump. Bing, jumping, jumping in the green grass, green grass, green grass, jumping in the green grass so early in the morning. Ooh, what else could we do in the green grass today? I know we're going to sway. Swaying in the green grass, green grass, green grass, swaying in the green grass so early in the morning. Now we're going to go tiptoeing. Ready? Tiptoe in the green grass, green grass, green grass, tiptoe in the green grass so early in the morning. And let's finish up by running. You ready to run? <gasps> running in the green grass, green grass, green grass, running in the green grass so early in the morning. <sighs> Did you bring your listening ears today? I brought mine. Today, for our listening, I am going to play some different frog sounds for you. Now, most people think a frog goes ribbit, ribbit. And there is a specific species of frog that does ribbit. But most of the frogs that you hear, they don't go ribbit, ribbit. So I want you to open your ears. And I want you to close your mouths. 
And the very first sound we're going to listen to today is a spring peeper. A spring peeper is a tiny light brown tree frog. Let's listen to this. Did you hear that peeper going peep, peep, peep? Can you make that sound? Peep, peep, peep. And if you go out to a pond where there are spring peepers, where there's a lot of them, it sounds like jingle bells. All right, our next frog is the American toad. Now an American toad is really big and it has brown lumpy skin and it's really good at eating insects from your garden. So let's listen to this big American toad sound. So I bet that was not the sound you were expecting. The last frog we are going to listen to is a green frog. This is a big frog and it happens to be green. Sometimes it's brown and it lives in all kinds of lakes and ponds. And this one makes a very silly sound. Let's listen. <laughs> Now, if you have a chance to visit a pond this summer or this spring or in the fall, I want you to take a moment to be really quiet and very still and see if you can identify any of those frog sounds that we just heard. Have a good day. We're all finished with this episode of Alphabet Soup. Thanks for watching. Join us again next time for another tasty helping. See you again soon.